MyCase is a great tool for organizing documents and sharing them with staff and clients. Your firm has an unlimited amount of data storage and you can upload Word documents, spreadsheets, images, videos, audio recordings, and more. You can upload a document from the Home Dashboard, the Documents tab, or the Quick Add Item menu. Click Add Document, then choose the first option for Upload Documents. There are two options that you have for uploading documents, a single document upload or a batch document upload, which will allow you to upload multiple documents at once. We will want to select the case that we would like to associate the document to. The document will then be stored in that case file for easy retrieval. If you are uploading a more general document that shouldn't be associated with a particular case, such as a retainer agreement template or a motion template and so on, check the box for this document is not linked to a case and the document will be stored as a firm document. If you've select a case for this file, you will have the option to select a folder within that case. Then you can enter a descriptive name for the document. This will be the name that is displayed for the document as it appears throughout my case. Next, choose the file that you would like to upload into my case. You can click to browse or simply drag and drop the file into the gray box to upload it from your computer. My case uses a system called tagging to let you easily organize and search documents. You can apply tags to this document from here. Next, enter the optional description for this document. Please remember that the document description will be viewable by all clients and firm users that the document is shared with. Lastly, check off the names of the clients and contacts that you would like to share this document with. Notice how every contact has a checkbox next to their name. Contacts that are grayed out are not enabled with the MyCase client portal and will not be available for sharing. This item will be automatically shared with all firm users linked to the case. Once you click Upload New Document at the bottom of the pop-up box, MyCase will send a notification email to everyone selected, letting them know that a new document has been shared to their MyCase client portal. They can log in into their MyCase account to view that document from a secure, encrypted platform. They will also see a red notification bubble on their Documents tab alerting them of that new document in their account. Other contacts whose names were not checked off will have no idea that the document exists despite them having MyCase access or being linked to the case. Now let's take a look at a previously uploaded document here in the system. We are able to see all of the basic information regarding the document on the left. We can download a copy to our computer, add a new document version, or archive and delete the document at the bottom of the page. We can always edit the document information at the top when needed. Every item that you upload into my case has a comment stream associated with it. We can see here that our client and firm had a conversation regarding a misspelling on the document. There is a time and date stamp detailing the correspondence and it is all consolidated on the document file itself. The idea is it is much easier for a client to view and comment on the specific document inside of my case instead of sending scattered emails or leaving voicemails. Lastly, you can see all the versions of this document, you can view and edit the sharing, and you can see the full history of the document as well on the documents information page.